Hello, we're the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today's episode will begin by looking at various SpaceX updates including the launches that are coming up in a matter of days. Then we have updates in Boca Chica plus a bunch of views of SN5 including the rollout and testing dates. Then finally we have a little SN6 and SN7 so let's head straight in and get up to date. Starting off today is the Starlink 9 launch which was meant to lift off on multiple different dates recently. SpaceX had tweeted that they were targeting Friday 26th. However, on Friday they then tweeted, standing down from today's Starlink mission, team needed additional time for pre-launch checkouts but Falcon 9 and the satellites are healthy. We'll announce new target launch date once confirmed on the range. Also on launch information we have another launch on Tuesday 30th as you can see on the SpaceX fans website. SpaceX should launch the Space Force's GPS-3 SVO3 payload at 7.56pm UTC or 3.56pm EDT. The Falcon 9 booster to launch this mission is B1060 and it will be a brand new booster. So right now looks like GPS-3 will lift off before the Starlink 9 launch. With some Crew Dragon related news there is a tweet from Marcia Smith of Space Policy Online. She quoted something that somebody called Steve Stitch at NASA said recently. He said they would be testing how four crew members in the capsule would work. Also, he said the earliest return of Endeavour would be August 2nd. Just before we check out the Boca Chica and Starship stuff, let's take a look at a tweet from Musk. Raphael asked when the Starship presentation would be this year. Austin replied to say probably September as all of the previous presentations have taken place during that month. Then Elon Musk confirmed that September sounds about right. Now let's take a look at some things over at the Boca Chica facility. Starting with the construction work we've recently been seeing and as you can see it's progressed quite a bit. Also work continues over at the super heavy launch pad. There's a new machine spotted that has been digging further holes. I don't know what exactly it's for nor do I know what the machine is but I'm sure somebody in the comments will be able to tell us. Over at the construction yard Elon Musk recently tweeted this awesome aerial photo of SN5 and SN6. He tweeted it with the caption, two Starship tanks in the mid-bay. I'm going to call it a mid-bay now since the super heavy assembly building would definitely be the high bay. Also in the construction yard, work is continuing on the giant crane that will help build the high bay. You can see SpaceX using a big crane to build an even bigger Manitowoc crane. RGV aerial photography often hires a Cessna and pilot to go and take incredible shots of the SpaceX facility from the air. They want to do more regular trips to get further awesome photos but the services they hire are not cheap. If you can, go and support their Patreon, there's a link in the description. This photo shows the new crane and gives a much better scale as to how huge this thing will actually be. You can see here that it's being put together next to the high bay foundations. Plus there are loads of metal structures which I'm guessing are most likely for the enormous building. Hopefully it won't be too long before it starts rising. Before we check out the latest with Starship SM5, let's take a look at some other Starship things. To start with, you can see here a scrap ring that was spotted moving out of the construction yard. Also, there is a new downcomer that recently arrived in the construction area. As you can see from Jack Bayer's awesome editing skills, it feeds methane through the LOX tank. Not sure if this is the section we recently saw outside, but here is another thrust section spotted in an onion tent. Whilst we can't be sure what vehicle this will be for, I'm going to guess either SN7 or SN8. Because we've had a little SN7 tank, the next full-size tank build could be SN8, but we'll just have to wait and see. Engineers were continuing to work on getting the test stand ready for the arrival of SN5. Next to the mount, you can also see a very big crane. That crane was also seen extending in order for it to be able to lift the test tank. Then, as per last episode, on Wednesday 24th, the SM5 vehicle was filmed rolling down the road and into the test area. After being rolled in by the roll lift and moved over to the test stand, they got ready to lift it. Then the next step was to hook it up to the crane, which is what they did. I love this shot because it gives a great sense of scale with people standing on top of the vehicle and this is without the nose cone and some more rings. Finally, later in the day, they started lifting the tank in order to be placed onto the test stand. So finally, about a month after the demise of SN4, we now have a new full-size test tank standing tall on the mount. I'll show you some views of the SN5 vehicle starting with the test heat shield tiles you can see. Whilst a bunch of previous vehicles had them, I don't think any have had this many. Also, this vehicle has varying sizes of TPS tiles attached, so not entirely sure what they are wanting to test this time. 
Another great view that was captured was the underside of the vehicle. Not too long ago we saw the arrival of some new legs for this starship and here you can see them currently chained up. Whilst SM5 may now seem like it's ready for testing that's not quite the case. It usually takes them some days to add final preparations and hook the prototype up. However that is happening fast and it's going to be ready very soon for testing. In terms of testing in the last video we saw scheduled road and beach closures. However as is always the case the dates have changed a little. As you can see the Monday 29th road closure was cancelled but June 30th and July 1st appear to still be on the table. Not really much more to see but let's take a brief look at SN6 and SN7. Even though SN5 has left the mid bay and is preparing for testing SpaceX are continuing with the next tank. SN6 has had further work to get it ready for testing but I don't think it's far off where SN5 is. The mid bay shot from Elon Musk earlier showed the vehicles looking almost the same at least from above. Finally with SN7's recent pop there is a giant mess of stainless steel. Workers have obviously been working to get rid of the remains of this bopper. It didn't take very long for them to get rid of SN4 so it shouldn't take long to get rid of this either. I'm so excited now that SN5 is hooked up cannot wait for testing. As always I want to say a massive thank you to Mary Boca Chica Girl who films the incredible footage we get to see. Also huge thanks to the rest of the NASA spaceflight team for all their incredible hard work and for sharing these insights. Jack Bayer has also been doing a great job recently with editing and adding handy labels to the clips. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX show I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.